Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to take you on a quick tour of this. It's called a Borgophone, and it was built with a microcontroller, a breath sensor, some tubing, and a lot of patience. Um, it's a wind controller based on a brass instrument, um, you, and it just lets me control synthesizers. I have it controlling my computer right now, and I'll just play you a little bit. And so these are just touch pads. I don't have to push any buttons, I just touch them. And they correspond to valves on a tuba. These are just extra, if you're a tuba player, one and two valves. Um, and these are, so these lower the pitch, these raise the pitch. You don't really have these on a normal brass instrument, but they're really handy. Um, and, you know, why not just put more buttons on the thing? More is better. Um, these on the back are uh, corresponding to partials. Um, so on a brass instrument, you can use your lips and buzz them at different speeds to get multiple notes with each fingering. That's how you can get so many notes out of just four vowels. Um, but with this thing, you obviously can't do that. So instead we have these little buttons. And so I use this just as a thumb rest. But if I want to go down an octave, I can do that. And if I want to go up an octave from the middle here, I go like that. And if I want to... Um, go down, you know, one partial. So like down a fourth is like that. Up a fifth is like that. So it goes, so it'll end up sounding like And then of course you have some octave pads over here. So you can get one, two, three, four octaves just with these pads. And then of course you can go down another octave with these and up another octave with these. So I think it's about six octaves just with the pads. And then you can also displace the whole instrument just with some buttons that I have on the back as well. Um, there's a little joystick that controls pitch bend and modulation. And there are a couple other knobs that, um, that will let you control whatever you want. You can map them to whatever synthesizer parameter. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's the instrument. I gotta take off my fancy strap here, which is a shoelace. And maybe I'll show you a little bit of the inside, because um, if you're me, you want to see what the heck's going on inside. You like taking things apart. And I'm no, by no means an expert, so I, as you'll see, the wires um, betray my novice status. Um, but you can see the microcontroller up in the this area. And there's another board there that controls some of the touch pads um, so that I can have more. Like, the, the this is a Teensy, the Teensy 3.2. And it's it lets you do, like, up to 12 touch pads by itself. Um, and then I have another board that gives me another, I think, 12. And I'm not using all those, but I'm using a lot of them. And then here's the tube um, that takes most of the air pressure right through. Um, it gets some condensation, which is a little bit of a drag, but mostly it's really workable. This is my breath sensor. It just has a little tube coming off of that. And so most of the air does not go through this tube. A little bit does, and, and that's not perfect because you don't want moisture to get in here. But um, so far it's been fine. And I just have a little swab that I run through the instrument to clean it after I use it. Um, that's about it. It's taken me a long time to figure out how to do this. started just by sketching out, like, if I wanted to just build an instrument, what would I want the fingerings to be like? Because I'm a brass player, and I've always wanted to play synthesizers, but I'm a terrible keyboard player. Um, I mean, there are other valve instruments like trumpets, like electric trumpets and stuff like that, but they, their fingerings, uh, you know, the, the right hand is the same, but on the left hand you have this dial where you switch between the partials instead of having those buttons and I just never imagined that I could get used to that. For me this is a little bit more straightforward. It's just like, you know, the fingering for a C is like this. Uh, you know, my thumbs here and my uh, two fingers are like this. So um, I found this to be actually pretty intuitive after just a little bit of playing. I could put on my headphones on, I'm not bothering anybody, 
by playing awful music. <laughs> and um, I, I just spend some evenings playing with it, and it's really fun. Um, and I can make it sound like whatever I want, which has kind of always been my dream. I think I pushed the wrong button. Anyway, thanks for watching.